coming up on today's show. All-Star Basketball Mean Girls highlights job fair information and interview tips. Tight news starts now. Good morning, Titans. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. I'm Shane Remy Rowland. And I'm Emerson Nazario. Let's get started with the morning Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To win the 2023-24 boys basketball season, Lorain County's best got together for the final time at Elyria last Friday for the Lorain County Boys Basketball All-Star Game. In a new format with four seven-player teams, to raise Team A won in the finals over Team C 25-15. The winning team included Lorraine's Asaya Killian, who scored 10 in the final game. Killian also combined for 17 points for both games on the night. I think the new format makes things more competitive, Killian said. Everybody wants to win. It wasn't really an all-star game, it was a real game. In between the senior all-star semifinals and finals, the Rising Stars was played and it was a classic, trailing by three in the final seconds. Fireland's Max Stinson connected on a deep three-pointer to force overtime. Lorraine's Avon Killian put an, put an explanation point on the game for a half-court buzzer beater. Lorraine's Julian Daniels, who had 23 points, led the way for the away squad. Also participating in the evening's festivities were Lorraine's Jaden Guerrero Howard in the senior all-star games and Ike Rouser in the three-point contest. Thank you, Ms. Drago, for sending us the video and Mr. Killian for the information about the night. Congratulations to the cast, crew, directors, and the musicians for the performance of Mean Girls this past weekend. They completed many weeks of hard work and it paid off. Here's a clip in case you missed it.
Seniors, there will be a senior class meeting fourth block today. Lorraine High will also be hosting a job fair on Wednesday, March 27th. More than 60 employers will be participating in on-site interviews and networking opportunities. The time will begin before school lets out at 1 p.m. and continue for community members as well until 5.30. Here's a video from YouTube with some good job interviewing tips. So you have your first job interview coming up? <laughs> That's what's up. I'm gonna give you some tips and some things to avoid on your first job interview. Keep it locked right here. What's going on fam, it's your boy Anthony O'Neill and welcome to another video. Hey listen, if today is your first day rocking with me on YouTube, I want you to do two things right now. The very first thing is I want you to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell next to it because I want you to join the It's That Serious family. And then number two, I want you to text me with any question that you may have. It could be around finances, it could be around your parents, it could be around school, it could be around relationships, it could be around your friends. I don't care what it is, but here's what I want you to do. Text me and I'm going to put that number in the description below. So hey, let's go ahead and get into today's question from my man Sam out of Tennessee. I'm 16 and I have my first job interview tomorrow afternoon. I'm terrified, nervous, and excited at the same time. Anthony, what should I do? <laughs> Congratulations, Sam. Hey, check this out, man. You are going after it, and I'm so excited for you. So listen, don't be nervous because you got this. And here's the very first thing I would do. Dress for success. That's right. Don't wear nothing sloppy. Don't even wear like a polo shirt like this. I want you to get some nice slacks with a nice button up shirt and do not wear loud colors. Keep it simple and sweet. Dark colors, maybe like gray or black. But that's the very first thing I would do is I would dress for success. Number two, plan to arrive at least 10 to 15 minutes earlier because what you want to do is show your future employer that you are on time, that you are punctual. You're you're not late and you're not even just on time, but hey, you're gonna show up early every single day to work because you want to be punctual. All right, so let's talk about some things to avoid because I see these things all the time. Don't go in there being overly familiar with the person. What I want you to do is to show up very professional. For an example, don't go in there giving him a hug. Like, what up, dog? Bruh. What's up, dog? Bruh. Or, hey, what's up, bro? Bruh. No, you walk in there, give them a nice firm handshake because you want to show them that you are professional and you're not just too friendly. Man, I want you to leave your cell phone in the car. Hold on a minute. This thing right here, leave it in the car. Because what you want to do is you want to show them that, hey, you have my undivided attention. I'm a teenager, but I am very professional. You don't want to do no text messages, no phone calls. You don't want your phone accidentally going off in an interview. So leave your cell phone in the car. So once they see that they have your full attention, make sure you bring a notepad. Make sure you're taking notes. Even if you don't even feel like taking notes or if they're not saying much, Still write down what they're saying because you want them to see that again, you're punctual and you're paying attention and you're taking down notes. Also, make sure in your notepad, you have several copies of your resume in there because you never know, you may be interviewed by one person and they may like you and say, hey, you know what? How about you come meet with this young lady as well or meet with this guy as well or you may get interviewed by two or three people at the same time. Put at least five copies of your resume in your notebook because you never know who may come and be a part of the interview process. And here's the very last thing that I think is so important. I want you to listen closely to all the questions and I want you to honestly answer these questions. No matter what you do, do not lie. If you can't answer the question um, truthfully, just say, hey, you know what? Honestly, I don't know the answer to that question. I would love to go and do some research and maybe send back an email or call you back with the answer. Show your employer that you are a young man of integrity. Answer the questions honestly. If you do these things, man, I promise you, you will win. For an extra bonus, I shot a video earlier last year about how to really win. What are the key things you need to do in the interview process? I want you to go check it out right now. Hey, listen, if you're watching this and you want to ask me a question, don't forget to text me. I really want to help you become successful. It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill, and I'm going to see y'all next time. 
Seniors, reminder, Mr. Will and friends will be in C214 after school today to provide support with resume writing in preparation for our job fair at the end of the month. Please stop by for assistance or get feedback on your current resume you may already have. This will be from 2.25 to 3.10 p.m. Cedar Point will be at the job fair on March 27th to do on-the-spot interviews and give information about positions available. Those who went on the field trip can attest to what a great environment it would be to work at. This job fair is for students and community members who are interested. If you want a job, you can sign up for an interview as a sheet is posted on the counselor's window. If you are under 18, there are some extra forms you will need to have. They will be posted next to the interview sign-up sheet. Hope to see you there. Lorraine High Titans honor kindness of self, others, and the environment. We are tolerant. We support each other. We seek to spread kindness, not hate. The Lorraine High campus is a nonviolent, sacred space for all to learn, grow, and achieve excellence. Rise together, Titans. Greatness is in us. That's all we have for today. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and be kind to our environment. Go, Titans.